Hi, this is Thomas with JapaneseGardensDC.com. This is a Japanese courtyard garden that I designed and installed for a contemporary home in Washington, D.C. As you can see, it's springtime and the cherries, trees are in full bloom. Got a really nice Buddha. Some really nice, interesting lanterns. You'll notice we did half of the garden in white gravel and the other half in moss. But I used different varieties of moss to kind of give the look of a moss garden instead of all of one type. I think it's quite interesting. I love moss, so if you're interested, I'm pretty knowledgeable about it. And the other lantern. And again, the cherry blossoms are just spectacular. These are the cherry blossoms. These are Japanese umbrella pines, and there's some Japanese maples which are just starting to leaf out. And opposite the large fountain, I did a stone pathway, and you'll see in the corner a nice shaded sitting area. And then I did another fountain. This is a traditional bamboo water spout for Shishidoshi, which translates to deer scare. Probably the main focal point of this garden is this very unique fountain. I designed it and built it myself. And it consists of two fountains. In the back, the water actually runs down the surface of a gray mirror, kind of a vertical water channel. And the bottom is like a basin fountain with black pebbles both of which are illuminated by, at night by very soft LED uplights and you can actually see a reflection in the mirror and all of these fountains ran all winter with no problem the bamboo water spell actually turned into a like an ice sculpture, which is pretty cool. In this corner sitting area, I designed and built by myself. And I built a uh, kind of a traditional Japanese garden structure, you know, roof, uh, just so that it would be shaded. And I used kind of rustic wood to give it kind of an antique look. You can see they have a little fire pit, so on a cool night they can have a fire. The bench I built out of knotty cedar, and I'm very happy with it. It's kind of an L-shaped bench. If you notice, there's only legs at either end. It's kind of built into the structure. So it kind of appears to be floating. And you can see I used large beams and on either end, I did a little play on a Tory gate, just add a little more interest. And you can see I left the, uh, the beams open all the way up to the ridge, so you could see the exposed beams. 
And I lined the ceiling with a uh, knotty cedar with a natural finish. And if you notice on the horizontal, there's a very small, it's a LED light, very soft light. There's one at either end and it just very softly illuminates the ceiling and casts just a very gentle glow on the sitting area. And again, this is the other side again with the uh, LED light. Again, you can see I just left the beams open. So you see the beautiful wood. And from the sitting area, you can pretty much view the entire garden, the large fountain, the opposite side, the cherry blossoms, Japanese maples, and then the smaller fountain. Some nice logs with moss. And the white moss is actually reindeer moss, which is pretty cool looking. Other than the trees and the moss, I used camellias. You can see this one's loaded with flower buds. Some pink and it's gonna bloom probably pretty soon. Camellias come in fall, winter, and spring blooming varieties. They're evergreen. And they just provide a few flowers here and there through the season and they are traditional plant used in Japanese gardens. And here's another camellia. Uh, you can see it has lots of flower buds. It'll bloom later in the spring. And another camellia, and this one has red flowers. You can see it's got lots of buds as well. This area is outside of the uh, courtyard. It's in the front. And there's just three large rocks and a kind of a sea of white gravel. And on two of those, we just created little islands of this is cushion moss. I think it looks really nice. Design, install, and maintain custom Japanese gardens, primarily residential, in the Washington, D.C. metro area in Northern Virginia. I've been in business since 1996, and I believe I'm the most knowledgeable, experienced person in the area on Japanese gardens. I've basically self-studied my entire life, and that's my passion. So if you're interested in a consultation, all my contact information is in the description below. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Uh, check out my website, which is JapaneseGardensTC.com. And I have about, probably about 50 videos on my YouTube channel now. But I've done hundreds of gardens over the years. 